I have a special place in my heart for lever guns. Uh, it was actually one of the first guns I shot. It was a little 22. When I started shooting, I wasn't strong enough to run the action. There's so much fun. POF, the fact that they, they kind of made a modern take on this and did it nine mil, that is just awesome. Good job, guys. Huzzah. So in front of me today is the POF Tombstone. It's the first of its kind as a nine mil mag fed lever action rifle. And it is not your daddy's lever action. This is a modern take on a classic with a lot of cool features in it. And it's really, really well done by them, packed full of features. So let's start here at the rear of the gun with this stock. So this is a Magpul stock. It is a 870 style. So from our understanding is that this is interchangeable with any 870 stock. So if you wanna put a wood stock on here, you can definitely do that and give that that kind of modern classic look. As you move forward, you have a cross bolt safety right here, really easy to manipulate. Then you've got the lever itself. Now the lever comes out in, and as you can see, there is a chance that you can kind of short stroke it. And it just takes some time to, and understanding of manipulating this firearm, but it's not easy to short stroke it's really easy to just work that action. Now, as we move up, it's got a flat face, three and a half pound trigger. The trigger on this thing is amazing and it made it really quick, easy follow-up shots. Like I was able to run the mags really quick. And speaking of which, as we move forward even more, it's got an ambidextrous mag release. So you've got uh, left and right hand friendly here. Mag comes out, it does ship with two 20 round mags or if you are in a restricted straight state, it will ship with two 10 round mags. Now, the cool part about this is it does take the POF Phoenix mags, which means you can use the 35 round mag, and that is just a package that it just screams tactical and awesome. As you go up on a, the gun a little bit, next you've got, you see this 1913 Picatinny rail on this, so you can put your optics on with a rear ghost ring sight. We move forward, so you have a lightened cut handguard here. It is a fluted 16 inch barrel with a half by 28 thread on the end, and we'll touch on that here in a moment. The handguard itself is M lock slot all the way on the sides and on the bottom with quick detach mounts for your slings. It does have a front Picatinny mount here for your light, as well as another one here with a nice big front post with a white line on it. So the sights are really easy to see and easy to get back on target. Now, as we move forward, like I said, it's a half by 28 thread here, but it's got a really nice dual taper or dual locking muzzle device with dual port muzzle device, which makes it really easy and controllable on the recoil. It's a nine mil, it's a controllable gun, but it's really cool. Now, unfortunately, we were unable to test it suppressed, but I'm really excited to take this out again and test it suppressed. Now, the whole thing is made out of aluminum, it's super lightweight, super thin, and guys, on the range, it's just a freaking blast. I was able to work that action and get really quick shots. Kurt and I really did enjoy this. I was able to get really quick follow-up shots in Tennessee. I was really able to work that action and get really just bang, 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 bang. Uh, we also took Joe from our sales team out to shoot this, and he enjoyed it as well. Now, your question might be is, what is the purpose of this? And, and the other question is, what is the price? So let's talk about the purpose. For so first and foremost, this is just a blast at the range. It is so much fun. It's one of those range toys you pull out and everybody on the range is gonna go, what is that thing? It just, it's, there's nothing else like it that you've seen. Now, as you go and we start talking about what is the purpose of this, you know, what, what roles does it serve? You know, sometimes you, don't need a gun that serves a purpose other than being fun, but it's a great option to teach somebody on it. I really didn't think about that. And so I started talking to people around the office about it and having a nine mil lever gun to teach a kid on or teach somebody, it's not a semi-auto. So you're not worried about recoil impulse. The recoil is really, really low. They don't have to worry about, you know, you know, short stroking the gun, making it jam up. It's just super, super easy to use and has no recoil whatsoever. 
It can serve as a home defense rule for those of you who are in a state that doesn't allow semi-autos or like ARs or in a state that has like a 10 round magazine limit. It can serve that because it's just easy to get quick follow-up shots, easy to get on target, stay. The accuracy on this is really good. We were able to get good accuracy out of it with a multiple different types of ammo. Now, the bigger question is this, what is the price? And the price is a little hefty. And, and that comes with the territory of POF and its quality. So MSRP on this is $1,962. Street price is gonna be $1,848. You might see it a little less, you might see it a little bit more. At the end of our videos, we always ask the same question, are you a buyer? And for me, it's a yes and a no. Yes, I love this thing. It shoots great, it shoots fantastic. It gets easy to get on target. There's so many good things I can say about it that make, cause this thing just stands out in a crowd of lever guns from other companies. Now, it's a no cause of the price tag. It's kind of hard to say that I would be a buyer. It's just a little bit out of my price range, but it's worth every penny. Cause this is just a fun, just works and it runs. And I looked at it last night, I was thinking about it and a Henry Black series, the big boy with the, with the threaded barrel and the polymer stock is about $1,100. Then you gotta go to a company like Hoptics or Ranger Precision or stuff like that and get the stock and get the handguard and that's gonna run you another $600, $700. So by the time you're done, you're at $700, or you're at almost $1,800 to do the same setup as this. The other thing that you have to take into account is the price of the ammo. So with that, Henry, you're looking at a price point for ammo, like for, especially for 38, 357, you're looking at like 22 to $28 a box, depending on the load and what it is. But with this, it's a nine mil. And I can get nine mil for like 13, 14, $15 a box and shoot all day and buy a case of it and not break the bank. I want to thank POF again for letting us use this gun, letting us review it, being one of the first to actually get this out. Appreciate you guys over at POF, local company, go check them out. Guys, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notification and check out our website, trueshotgunclub.com.